Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Hare from Bell Lost Souls Tabletop News with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Do you like zombies? I do. I do like zombies. Do you like flicking things? Uh, occasionally. Okay, good. Well, then this is your <laughs> game. This is Flick'em Up, uh, Dead of Winter. Okay, so time out real quick. I've heard of Flick'em Up. Okay. I've played Dead of Winter. Yep. I've actually played Flick'em Up too. <clears throat> this is both? This is both, yeah. So for those who don't know, Flick 'em Up was a dexterity game, is a dexterity game. That was a western, some yeah. people played uh, outlaws, the other played uh, good guys, and they're flicking the bullets at each other. Yeah, you literally um, like yeah. flick them It's totally the dexterity based. Yeah. Dead of Winter is a zombie survival board game, and... Little, that's got, it's got yeah, crazy game. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah. Crazy Mashed game. it together. So this is the mechanics of Flick 'em Up with the aesthetic and uh, zombie survival of Dead of Winter, and it looks awesome. It's interesting too, just looking at the box art, yeah. it definitely looks more cartoony than Dead of Winter. Yeah. But it still has that same like kind of vibe of the end of world zombie apocalypse style. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. And it, it definitely has the winter theme going on yeah. too. So uh, I'm I'm very curious yeah, because I, 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 I like both these games both these games mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if we're gonna get together the, the Reese's. Best effect. of both worlds. Let's right. find out. Let's find out. Let's take a look inside. Flick 'em up, dead of winter. Alright, flick 'em up, dead of winter. Yes. Are you excited about this one? I, I really am, because I have Okay, my roommate has Flick 'em Up, and she has like the deluxe edition with all the wooden yeah, pieces. Yeah. It's a fun game. It's it's really cool because you get to kind of make your own yeah. map, uh, which here's the back of the box, and you put your characters around. This is really cool because it's a zombie survival game. Yeah. I love zombies. They're fun. I love I love shooting zombies. I love it's zombies until they're real, and then I have to deal with them. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm relegated to just dying. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be a zombie. Yeah. I wouldn't really have to worry about anything ever, ever again. <laughs> uh, here's the rule book. It's you know, colorful and fun. We'll we'll take yep. a look at that later. Back in a second. We have the pieces to build the buildings. Now there are buildings, like little yeah. standees. Actually, this is a zip bag, so if you keep going. Yeah, I'll keep going. We have stickers. These are for uh, the zombies and the players. You'll see that here in a second. And I believe there are 10 uh, survivors for, for players to play at. So, But those are those will go on the, the plastic minis here in a second. We'll show those off. And then, of course, we have a ton of punch outs. Uh, these will form like terrain and things like that, uh, that you're and items and stuff you're gonna be picking up, as well as the health pool and all that fun stuff that we're gonna keep track of. So, keep on going. We've got the little uh, plastic pegs for the, the score trackers. Uh, we've got, ooh, these are stands, plastic stands. More plastic bits here. These are um, standees, we'll come back to you. Okay, I've, I've, I've slightly built this, but this is like... That was quick. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, because, uh, it's. I mean, they're actual physical buildings. Yeah, um, we're going to figure out what this is and probably finish building it later, but I just want to show off. Yeah, you've got it almost built. Yeah. Uh, more crates and barrels. Wow, crate and barrels. <laughs> That's um, really cool, too, because you can use them for other things. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was looking at these. These these look like... These honestly look like 40K barrels to me. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> We've got... These look like... Backpacks, I would say. Oh yeah. Maybe they're supplies. supplies. Yeah. yeah. And then in here we've got the different looks like bullets yeah. and pucks. And so pucks to like move your character, but you have like bullets and the black things. You have a knife and a bat, which is really cool. Melee attack. I wonder if you actually flick that. That'd be awesome. Um, we have the cards, uh, which this one says secret. We'll find out what these are when we go through yeah. the rule book. Uh, more. I think these are stands. Yeah, these are the plastic things. So you've got. Survivors, yep. yes, and zombies, yes, and then Evan, if you take those, checks, yes. you can kind of see how these work. Uh, you, you get the zombies, you're gonna you put the correct sticker on one of right. them, right, and then that'll form your little zombie. Yeah, and they're, they're numbered too, yep. as you saw. And the heroes, the same deal. They There's all have the same shape. silhouette. Yeah, they all have the same silhouette, so it doesn't matter which sticker is going which plastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. But pretty straightforward. I believe that's everything in the box. Oh, excuse yep. me, sorry. Everything in the box, we're all good there. Yep. So I'm just gonna set this aside. So it's all plastic. Kind of like yeah. So zombies. so the base <laughs> game for uh, flick 'em up is plastic, but if you get the deluxe edition, it's wooden pieces. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if like in the future they had wooden pieces, like in the deluxe edition. Yeah, that makes sense. Because they're probably also gonna have expansions for this yeah. game. So cool. Well, let's go ahead and pause real fast and take a look inside the rules. Evan, you're the zombie expert. Oh, am I? Uh, of this game, at least. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, here's the rule book uh, it's kind of like for Flick Sin City up art style going on here. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so this is what that tower I was building earlier looks like. It's yeah. the zombie tower. We'll talk about that later. Okay, because there's dead inside. But yeah, what we didn't see in the box, we have a car, a camper, pickup truck, and an ice cream truck. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of buildings as well. They come with the sandy buildings, which yeah, is really yeah, cool. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, so keep going. Has full instructions on how to assemble things. Oh, Obviously, yeah. I couldn't figure it out right 
Yeah, but there. it's, but it's pretty quick to do. Yeah. Uh, and those little backpacks actually go on the back of the survivors? Yeah, it's, it's really cool. The backpacks that go on the back of the survivors, they give a number, but also they give you uh, an indication whether or not the survivor's already done anything that turn. Okay. So they're, they're you know. See, that yeah. was the plastic sandy things, the yeah. sea lamps, the yeah. vehicles get them too. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. It all comes together now. So uh, before playing, you need to uh, find a good service, blah, blah, blah. There's also some scenarios in the back of the book, which we'll look at. Yeah. Uh, you want a nice flat Figure out the teams, yeah. You're looking for. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, it's going to go over an overview. This is a dexterity game where you're going to be flicking things. Yeah. And including discs to move your character. Um, using a survivor, it's pretty simple. You have the backpack and you flip it over whenever it's been used and then you flip it back. Okay. Uh, whenever it's not. Moving is really simple. You get the big disc we saw and then you put it next to your survivor and then you flick it in a direction. And then wherever it lands, your survivor lands. Now if you land close enough to a zombie, it, you can lose points Ooh, help yeah. so you don't want to get close to the zombies but uh some some reasons you might want to get slightly close so it's yeah. kind of a, 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 a risk i guess you could yeah. say but if you have like something like the baseball bat uh it says whenever you get close to a zombie you don't automatically lose points or anything like that okay cool so people might be wondering why don't you just always use a gun well first off you have uh you have noise okay. and the louder your action is during the the the, the cycle, round, yeah. which red actions are loud, yellow actions are medium or quiet, and then blue is nothing. Mm -hmm. The zombies will turn towards the person who made the loudest noise. Uh. So if you make a noise, the zombies are going to come after you. Okay. How do they come after you now? That's, what That's where the zombie tower comes in. They do something called a rush. They You take pick up a bunch of zombies, put it on top of the building that we saw that I was putting together. You remove the top and they fall down through the building and out. So they wow. just rush the players. It's really <laughs> sweet. Uh, it's a really cool way of doing it. It's very thoughtful, I guess you could say. Very thematic. Yeah, know. exactly. It's very thematic. So that's a really cool aspect, uh, you know, aspect to this game. So, so real quick too, how does this game work? Are you, are you survivors? Are you against each other? What do you? No. Like? So as the survivors, you're just trying to survive and kill, kill the zombies, looking for a loot. Okay. Uh, but there are scenarios. There, right? there are scenarios. We'll get to that in a second. But also, you can go inside buildings and stuff okay. like that. Uh, Talking about scenarios. Yeah. Uh, here's the glossary at the end. But there are scenarios that you can build, and these will tell you how uh, to set up what all the items you need. Because some scenario doesn't need every yeah, single yeah, yeah. item, but it also has like a setup of the, the town that oh. you're in, uh, which is really cool. And uh, kinda, get out of town. Yeah, mm -hmm. get out of town. Some of these are similar to. They're the, everywhere. Uh, um, uh, dead of winter style scenarios. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind just of dead of winter. So yeah. yeah. So new rules for each scenario, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, but I love the fact that they they give you a map of how to build your yeah. table out, and, then and you, you don't need yeah. you don't need to build it that way too. If you mm -hmm. want to come up with your own scenario uh, yeah. with your friends, you can totally do that too. So that's really cool. Uh, I still think that you could combine sets. I don't like. Oh, I agree. I'll yeah. Do it. You can have like a you can have like a saloon and everything like that. You can set up a western town with the hey. zombies. That'd be cool. East Te or West Texas, man. There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> still hours away from us. Right. Uh, but yeah, no. So there's a lot uh, separated. You have to separate things. Yeah. It's... yeah. That, there's a bunch of you get. There's a there's a yeah. bunch of. Oh scenarios. whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back. One. Whoa, whoa, one. whoa. Tensions rise. Two teams. Oh. Of, so, so, uh, survivors. So I, there's a, a lot of flavor to this game. Uh, scenarios, just real quick. There's ten. Ten scenarios. Ooh, and eventually it goes down to two teams. Yeah. So, so that's really cool. Yeah, this game looks really fun. That is uh, Flick 'em Up Dead of Winter. Let's hop out for a recap. Well, that was Flick 'em Up Dead of Winter. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Like, uh, like, again, awesome game of Flick 'em Up where you're flicking like the bullets into this stuff and into each other and taking them out. Yeah. And then you take the, the aesthetic and the vibe of Dead of uh, Winter. Zombie survival. Yeah. It's awesome. You got these cool, nice plastic yeah. pieces. You get to make a little village, which is yeah. a lot of fun. You can change it up as much as you Absolutely, want. Absolutely, yeah. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's a relaxing game because it's not like a strategy based. I mean, there's yeah, there's some to strategy it, to it, but, you but it's a dexterity cooking, based, yeah. so it's also skill based. Yeah. Um, a lot of bases. Uh, so <laughs> there's actually, I don't think there's any reason you couldn't add in your your western flick them up to you. Get oh, crazy. Yeah. Just get crazy. Have with a it. cowboy against zombies. Why not? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I agree. It's it's a lot of I fun, and I'm glad they mashed it together. It's, yeah, it's really cool. I didn't I didn't know what to think at first, but I actually think it fits really well together. Sure. With the with the zombies coming at the survivors and the survivors <laughs> trying to shoot with bullets. Yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. Let's uh, crunch some numbers on this one real fast. Okay. Uh, this is Flick 'em Up uh, Dead of Winter from Pretzel Games. Um, what is the number of players on this one? Two to ten. Yeah. Decent amount. Yeah, it's a yeah. big big game. You can play with a lot of people. It's kind of a fun party game, again, because you're doing the dexterity manual mm -hmm. thing. So it's yeah. uh, manual dexterity. Basically, how it is, because there's ten, like, 
people or pieces. Yeah. Each player, if, at maximum players, gets to play one person, which is really cool. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the age range on this one? Uh, I think it's 14 and up. 14 Because there are small up. pieces, so yeah. you have to consider don't that. Don't eat them. That's bad. Please don't. And it's, uh, it plays about 45 minutes. Yeah, minutes. not too long of yeah. a game. And it is 49 99 yeah. So so there you have it. Mid-person. That is Flick em Up, Dead of Winter. Yeah. Pretty Brand cool Brand new. Just came out. Yeah. So go check that one out in stores right now. I'm Adam Harry from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragon Slayer Comics of Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Oh.